Hello, it's Philip Taylor from Richmond Green Chambers. I'm talking about a special book here. It's in two volumes. It's known as Bullin, but to give it its full title, and it's part of the Sweet and Maxwell Common Law Library series of publications, it's Bullen and Leek and Jacobs, Precedents of Pleadings. Now that's a mouthful to start with, but what do we mean by it? Well, these books, the Common Law Library series by Sweet and Maxwell, make up the basis of, of how we deal with the law today in modern England and Wales. They are up the ultimate sources in many cases of the statements of law based on what the judges have said, what the academics have said, and what various other commentators have said, including, of course, uh, all the influences from Parliament. But what makes Bullen important? Well, apart from anything else, in the two volumes, it's actually what I have described in my written reviews. It's 101 final words on pleadings. That's for this edition, at any rate, because obviously we've had many editions. This is the 15th edition. It's got a green cover. It's been edited by, obviously, a team of people, but the 16th edition itself now gives key guidance on precedents from the ultimate experts, as I put it, because obviously they're the current practitioners. And to make the most of your case preparations, the new edition of Bullen is an essential guide for you when drafting statements of case in the civil courts. Now, there are plenty of other places, if you're in the library, one of the law libraries, to, to look. But this actually is one of the areas where I have a lot of confidence, because I know when I open the book, I'm going to find what I'm looking for relatively quickly. OK, you can mess about with the CDs and all the other stuff, but the bottom line with this is that this is the actual hard copy version, and I think many people feel very uh, much at, more at home with it. This current 16th edition offers a detailed uh, stock of authoritative, well-structured precedents of statement of case and gives a guiding commentary in over a hundred um, areas of law. That's why I said 101. In fact, it is a I actually counted it. It's 101 to be precise this time. It's obviously got a useful overview of the main subject areas. I'm not going to talk about all the changes that have taken place. You can see that on the internet uh, reviews that I've written. But I think it's a dream book uh, for the trainee barrister as well. Obviously, I sweated over pleadings like everybody else did when we did our barbocational course. But I can see how much it e easier it is to use something like Bullen. I obviously used a different, variety of different sources for what I uh, was looking for. But the handy Common Law Library series is certainly a format uh, which you can rely on in court with a great deal of confidence. The point I think about it is that every aspect of the subject, i.e. law, is covered. So counsel knows that there's everything in one place uh, to refer to. And it's also an indispensable book, of course, for the curious who've got little knowledge of how our legal system operates as far as the procedures and legal writing are concerned and I think many people will remember the legal writing course in particular and the first few sessions wondering what on earth the man was talking about because clearly legal writing is a is a specialist area and having taught the subject as well um, I'm glad to see there's a lot of modernization taking place at the moment and Bullen has certainly kept up to date with that the new edition, of course, has uh, new cases and practice. Uh, it's complete. It's obviously got extensive updates as well. And it covers a large amount of new legislation and case law, much of which is mentioned, of course, in the foreword. And, of course, in today's current precedents, um, Bullen sets out new precedents on claims relating to things like smoking in the workplace, which has now come in which are important with the bans in force. And obviously there are new precedents in areas such as defence of NH trusts and so forth. Now, you as practitioners will know, and obviously the learner will grimace at this stage probably, that it's always a nightmare to try ensuring that you have the most up-to-date information to hand. 
So the new edition, although it's uh, in two volumes, which it has to be, uh, does keep up very much within the current requirements for CPR itself. And it has a whole range of useful hints in uh, the preparation of things like uh, examples of claims and defences on uh, practical guidance issues with each particular precedent, it looks at relevant case law, um, very useful guidance on things like um, statements of case, and a light, nice lot of, of templates. Everything obviously can be adjusted, but at least you've got some tools with which to start. Now, the beauty of the common law library itself, and I've obviously reviewed quite a few of the works which Sweet and Maxwell have produced, is that the revision of the content of their uh, volumes and their regular updating services do make this uh, library itself and these individual books the best available uh, on the market. And no other country in the world, if you think about it, actually produces anything like the Common Law Library series, because it's a statement of law, and it includes academic and practitioner opinion, which is excellent when you're looking for a balance, whether it be if you're doing examinations, say, for higher uh, legal qualifications, or, of course, for a particular point of law in court, in front of very, very experienced and highly intelligent judges. So, to sum up, what would I say about Bullen? Well, it's top of the law library contenders with Chitty and uh, Benjamin, Phipps and Clark and Ninsel and so on. And I'm delighted to welcome the hard work that's been put in by the authors. Um, obviously, a very distinguished team. Uh, names that we will know, Blair, Brennan, Jacob, Langstaff and others. It's a massive contribution that they've given of the wisdom of fundamental principles of precedent which we know and which we as lawyers must have an understanding which is very sound and an appreciation which is strong so that uh, with the continued increase in today's contentious litigation we can feel assured that we've got the right information to hand so thank you all very much indeed for it it's an excellent book and i'm really pleased uh, that we have that in our collection Thank you very much. Bye-bye.